I'm getting a little tired. All right. Uh, so it says 17 times a number. Uh, so I know that when I'm dealing with times, um, multiplication is going to be my product. I'm not going to be dealing with addition. I'm not going to be dealing with subtraction nor division. It says time, so therefore I'm going to be dealing with multiplication. So I'm going to be 17 times what? It says a number. I don't know what that number is, right? That number could be 5. It could be negative 20. It could be 1 half. It could be any sorts of things. So what I'm going to want to do is create a variable. And for this example, let's use the variable a. All right. Now, whenever I'm induced, introducing a variable, I want to make sure I represent, say what that variable is. So I'm going to say a equals any number. So 17 times a number would just be 17 times a. And then fortunately for multiplication, we do not need to represent the multiplication symbol when multiplying a number times a variable. So I'll just write it as 17a. And that is how we write our algebraic expression.